Good morning, friends. It is bright and early. It is 4.30 in the morning right now. We just woke up, got ready, but it is travel day, so you can't be mad at the morning wake up. We have all of our bags packed and ready to go. We actually came down last night and stayed at my mom's house. Um, and yeah, we're, we're about to go. We have just a couple last minute things that we have to do, but we have the Uber scheduled to come in about 20 minutes and then we are off to the airport to go to Columbia this morning. Bags are packed. I also love how I just throw in all my hair tools into Nathan's bag because mine is just full of clothes and shoes. It is so empty in the airport this morning. Please tell me I'm not the only person that has to check that the gate exists before actually going and get food. I also love that our gate has like no seating around it. Um, so we're gonna go grab something for breakfast, I think. We were gonna get Earl of Sandwich, but they only have their breakfast options right now, which aren't a lot. I was hoping to get one of the like, ham and Swiss sandwiches. So instead we just went across and got some um, protein shakes and we got a little sandwich. And now we're just waiting here for our thing to get called. I wish there was a lounge in this. Uh, this part of the airport but unfortunately there's not what i do find funny though is that it's 6 a.m and the corona bar is very much open We had a quick stop in Panama and now we are about to board our second flight over to Colombia. Wait, are you guys seeing this? It's a whole Love it. We just got to the hotel and you guys are gonna make fun of me for this, but this fan is the best freaking fan you will ever find in your entire life. When I tell you there's no AC in this room, but this fan makes it so cold that last year when we were here, I like had to lower the volume of it because I wasn't used to it. And it's, I love her. Every single time we talk about this place, we talk about this fan because she's literally the best thing that's ever happened to us. And if I didn't already say it, we have made it to our hotel and it is absolutely gorgeous out here. It is like up in the mountains. It is so beautiful. I think we're going to try to see if they still have lunch available. Um, if not, we're going straight for the pool because that is what I have been dreaming about all day. All right, we checked for food um, and we had no luck. So pool it is. <laughs> Hello, guys. It is much later. We have been at the pool for like three hours um all of nathan's family is there so it was really cute um but now we just got back to the room because dinner is getting served in like 30 ish minutes and we have not eaten since breakfast so that is priority number one so we're just gonna shower change over and then head down to dinner it's giving a beach vacation it is seriously so zen out here I absolutely love this. All right, this is the spread. That soup. Nathan also got some fish. Should be really good. Really mm -hmm. Alright, we just finished dinner and now we're heading back to the room and all my fellow introverts out there will understand this, but my social battery is like at zero right now. Um, so I need some introvert time back in our room. Tomorrow we have a very bright and early wake up as well because we're going um, horseback riding. And if I remember from last year, it was like a two hour drive or like a one hour drive up there. Um, so we have to leave pretty early in the morning to get there and like 
you know, not get stuck up there when it gets dark and come back. So we're going to head to bed because we're also just really tired. We've been up since 4.50 a.m. this morning and have not stopped at all. So going to bed, having some introvert time, and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, friends. We are up and ready to go. We're about to go eat breakfast, but we've gotten ready to go horseback riding. We're going on the mountain, so we have full G. Well, that was great showing you. We have full jeans. Sure, I also have a jacket to throw over this because I remember last year being really cold up there, so we're leaving in like an hour for that, I think. 45 minutes-ish. So we're gonna go grab some breakfast downstairs and then we'll be ready to go. You guys, look at how beautiful this is. Are you kidding me? All right, and then here is the breakfast bread. They always have soup, no matter what time of the day it is. But we've got some eggs, this cheese, some bread, some fruit. I was hoping they would have coffee out here, but they don't right now. Oh, this is like chicken in it. Caldo de pollo. Oh, I didn't hear that. I just said yes. Oh. Better than your dad's butcher? No, could you some rice? Would it be good? These are our rides for the day. They're these open back Jeeps. And we're just all going to be in on these. Made it to Salento. Don't really know what there is to do here, but I guess we'll find out. Just came into a shop and look how cute everything is. I'm kind of in love with this. And also these little bracelets. Loving all these little beaded purses. They're so cute. I love all these little gold bracelets. I'm trying to convince myself that I don't need one because they're so cute. I especially like this little blue one. I ended up getting it. It was only $7 and I just need to clean the rest of my stack so that it doesn't look way too shiny next to them. I had to put my hair up because on the Jeeps, it was just blowing everywhere. You guys can see how tangled she is. It also kind of started to rain a little bit on us. Um, so this is what we're doing. Of course, we had to grab a coffee while in Colombia and this was literally $1.65 for a macchiato. Taste test. She's a little bitter. <laughs> I don't drink coffee anymore though, so I'm not the person to ask on whether or not coffee is good. Alright, taste test. Ooh, that's strong. I like it. Yeah. Like it it's good. Better than coffee in the U.S. The street is completely lined with all these souvenir shops and like coffee shops and look how busy it is here. Like the entire square has gotten busy since we got here. It is completely packed. Stopped for lunch. We came to this restaurant last year and it was really, really good. So excited to have it again. So you guys can see this is a fully outdoor restaurant and there's like the mountains behind us. And the menu is so good. I regret not getting a Maleja Paisa last year, so I might get that this year, but see what else they have too. Starting off with a mango like smoothie. <laughs> it's pretty good. I expected it to be sweeter. That's sweet. I like it. But it's not, but it's good. Look how good this looks. It's a coconut lemonade. That is so good. That's so good. You guys, look at this. When they have paisa, this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know, like, getting some edge. I thought I was going to get some avocado in there. Okay. That was pretty good. 
Ven, vale. Vale, mira. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Nathan's meal. It is chicken with mushroom sauce. Tastes. <laughs> good. As good as you remember it. Wow. Wow. Could you tell we thought the food was good? <laughs> Literally got a bug bite right on my face. All right, we just got to the horse spot, and I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh. All the way at the top, there's like a little hand, and that is where we're riding the horses up to. We did this last year, and I was hikey terrified because. It is a very um, small road up to the top and there's like cliffs and I don't do heights very well. So that's fun, but this is absolutely beautiful. This is the valley that um, Encanto is modeled after. So if you've watched that movie, this is the real life place. They're so cute, but I may or may not also be terrified of these horses. We made it to the top part of the mountain, but we now have a bit of a climb up to the top to get to that hand that I was get talking to you guys about. But to be honest, we're doing this climb. I don't know if this climb is worth it for the picture. Don't mind my uh, lack of breathing, but the view is beautiful. You woke up. Proof that I made it all the way to the top. I don't know if you could tell, but it is completely downpouring now that we're up here, so we're kind of just hiding out right now, waiting for it to at least slow down a little bit before we go back down. Of course, we had to get coffee while we're up here. Back in our jeeps, and good news, they do have a cover, so we don't have to be uh, completely rained on in the two-hour drive back. I think we were supposed to have a dinner at 6, but it's already 5-something. Um, so I don't know if that's getting pushed back or if we're not doing it anymore, but I'll keep you guys updated. But I, all we want is to go back to the hotel and take a nice warm shower because this rain is freezing. We are all dressed up and ready for dinner. Full outfit, Amazon, last minute shopping. Um, but it actually looks kind of cute. The shirt, a little bit of low cut, but that's okay. Totally did a vlog throughout dinner and I'm sorry, but now we're doing a little like comedy show. I'll try to get some snippets of it, um, but we also did this last year and it was really, really funny, so I'm looking forward to it again. Good morning, guys. Please ignore the fact that I look all oiled up, but we are having a very very relaxing day today. We're just staying in the hotel. We got up early this morning, grabbed some breakfast, and then I just had a massage done, and it was fabulous. It was in a little indoor room, but they had the window open so you could hear all the birds outside, and it was just so relaxing. Now, Nathan is down there getting his massage done, and then I think 
The plan for today is just to chill by the pool. There's a couple hammocks around the hotel that we keep eyeing, so we might go and like swing on them for a little bit, read our books, um, and just relax. I know there is a group of people that are going out into the town um, a little bit later on, so I don't know if we'll go with them. We'll see. We did that last year, and there's not much to do, but they do have like some souvenir shops, and there's a really cute like coffee shop that we went to last year, so we'll see how we're feeling a little bit later on, see if we want to go, but I think the plan is just to relax, and then I think later tonight there is... Um, another like nice dinner and birthday party happening because the reason we're here is for Nathan's cousin's birthday um and so I think we're like celebrating a little bit tonight but I am like you can literally see the tired under my eyes I I'm such a grandma and I keep falling asleep at like 9 p.m um actually last night I stayed up until like 11 that's when I think the whole uh, little comedy thing ended but Nathan did end up going like back out later last night and like hanging out with his cousins um, and I just slept so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to stay up tonight and hang out but I'm so old literally the moment we got off the horses and like got back here last night I was ready for bed and so the fact that I made it to dinner and made it to that little show last night is honestly surprising to me um but we're gonna we're gonna try to rally tonight but kind of just back in the room right now um i have my bathing suit on under this so as soon as nathan is done with his massage i think we're gonna go down to the pool and chill out and yeah we're just gonna have a pretty nice and relaxing day today lunch spread for today we have some potatoes some rice chicken and then we also have sancojo and then nathan is getting some of the salad we have been sitting out by the pool for like two or three hours so we are hungry and ready for some food and obviously the right way to eat sancojo is to put your rice directly in it so that's what we're doing I added my rice to sangoto, as you should. That's it. That's as good as my dad's. It has potential, but my dad has it for me. Mm. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Surprising. Surprising that his has it for me. No, oh. must be sarcastic. You're being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. oh. And then say, my dad watches these vlogs. Get mad at you. <laughs> I could say that his sandwich was not as good as you. That's pretty good though. This is like such a weird thing to say. Such a weird thing to say. But I kind of love that this is all like homemade food. Because Nathan and I barely cook. And when we do, it's like usually a recipe or something. It's not like Dominican or like, Colombian food. So it's nice to have a home cooked meal been out here for a while so of course it's time to have a drink i have been putting this off for as long as possible just because i don't know i don't want to get drunk at 11 a.m in the morning but we've made it i think we're gonna have our drinks though and then go inside and like get a little nap because we've been out in the sun all day and it's already what time is it it's 2 40 we've been out here since basically 8 a.m so I think we're gonna go grab a little nap after. Hello guys, we are getting ready for dinner now. It is six o'clock, we have about 15 minutes until we have to be down there. And I am exhausted. We were out in the sun all day, we came back and I tried to take a little nap, but it, I don't know, it just wasn't a good nap. I think I fell asleep for like 30 minutes and I'm just so tired. But I told myself that I was gonna rally tonight because I went to bed early yesterday. So, and tonight is like the, birthday party that we're here for so I'm gonna stay awake I just need coffee I think I'm gonna ask there's always coffee here I'm gonna ask for coffee at dinner because if not there's like a zero percent chance of me actually staying awake the entire time but as far as outfit goes just have a little romper I'm gonna put a bunch of jewelry on to like spice it up a little bit um and honestly right now I'm just glad that this is more of a tinted moisturizer and it's like sheer 
because I tanned so much today that if I had like actual like thick foundation here, um, there would be like a 0% chance that this would match me. Like you can kind of, you can see like how much lighter this is than what my face is right now. But just hoping tonight will be fun. I'm sure it will be. We did something similar last year for his other cousin's birthday. So I'm sure it'll be really fun. And the good thing about it is that tomorrow we get to wake up a little bit later because um, the activity that we're doing is not until, I don't think we have to leave until like 10 a.m. So we get to sleep in a little bit. We did, we were originally gonna sleep in today, but then we had those massages uh, booked for very early this morning. So we didn't get to do that. So tomorrow will be our first relaxing day. Well, not first relaxing day, but like first relaxing morning, I guess. And it's the last day that we also have like an activity set for us on the schedule. Monday is our last full day and then we just have like another chill by the pool kind of day on Monday. Um, and then we leave Tuesday. So this was a quick, it's a quick little vacation, but a fun one nonetheless. Here's the final look with jewelry. Thankfully, <laughs> oh, hey, babe. Uh, thankfully, I was able to get my makeup to somewhat match the rest of me. It's still a little light, but it's okay. It's gonna be dark. Remember what I was gonna say. Basically, slick back is part of the fit from now on because my hair does not like the humidity around here. I did my hair before coming here and I used the Color Wow like uh, spray thing that's supposed to fight against humidity. Didn't last a second in here. So slick back, that's, that's what we're doing from now on. Look how pretty this setup is for dinner tonight. Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> in mind that this whole thing with DJ lights and everything is for like 20 people. Breakfast bread this morning, just have some eggs, cheese, this little coffee bread. Um, this is a soup with like some sort of meat, can't remember what they said. And then of course, have to have some coffee. We're leaving soon to go on this like bike train thing. Um, so we had a little bit of a, a late wake up this morning, but we're just going to eat our food and then go back upstairs, um, get some sneakers on and then we'll be heading out. I'm going to say this right now. This is the highlight of my day. Look how good they are. Also so well behaved. There's like a million of us right now and they're not even reacting to the fact that there's so many of us right now. Are you kidding me? This is the highlight of my day. <gasps> Baby, come here. The this place is beautiful though it's like a whole eco hotel so they have a pool out here there's also like those bike uh train things here's the look at what the pool looks like this is what we're riding on guys it's like a whole little bicycle train and then we're gonna go through like the jungle i don't know there's like waterfalls and stuff. We're stopped right now to turn the train around and they just gave us these, um, it's like maracuya water. It looks really good. Hmm. It's really refreshing. Okay, this is where working out doesn't work for you because they literally were just like, if you work out, go in the front bikes because we're going like uphill and it's like two kilometers. And Nathan instantly was like, let's go. So here we are. This is proof for my older sister, Shirley, um, that I am on a hike in a forest. Miracles do happen. I just thought this dog was also coming with us up here.
this is the after of those bike uh, rail things. Uh, we are completely drenched. We had a whole uphill battle there. So what I'm gonna say is those cycle classes really are worth it. Because if I didn't go to cycle, I would not have made it back. <laughs> Um, I think now we're just gonna wait for lunch to get served because we get lunch as part of this whole experience. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know what else we'll do right after. Look at him. He's so funny just sitting there. I would like to note that all the cats here have let me pet them and they're the sweetest cats ever. And my cats could never. Got our dinner. It's also the finals for the Copa America. So we are here watching it because Colombia is in the finals this year. Guys, when I tell you there's children crying because Columbia just lost, everyone also just got up, didn't even say a word. They just like got up and walked out and it, it's like... It's time to mourn. It's a somber time here. Good morning and welcome to our last full day in Colombia. We just had breakfast and now we're sitting out here by the pool just reading. I think today is going to be a relaxing day. We were up super late yesterday with the game and we were just tired because those bikes were really fun but they were a full body workout. Um, so I think we're just going to relax today and chill by the pool so probably won't have too many updates today but kind of just sad for this vacation to be over. Thankfully we are smart and always take a PTO day after we head back um, as a vacation for our vacation. So we get to go home and chill for a bit before having to go back to work. But sad to be leaving this beautiful place because honestly sitting out here is just so relaxing and so pretty and I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> Back in the room now to chill for a little bit. One thing that has come out of this trip that is good is the fact that I've gotten a really good use of my Kindle. I was a 100% like need a physical book person and I low-key might still need to buy trophies for all the books that I've read during this uh, trip. But I read so fast and having this has made it so easy because I didn't need to bring like 10 books and I could change my mind on what I wanted to read. So on the car, or not the car ride, on the plane ride, to this trip, I finished up one of the Zodiac Academy books. Then I decided to do a little romance book and uh, read Love Redesigned. I also downloaded The Summer of Broken Rules just because I wasn't sure what vibe I was going for. But I think now I'm going to go back to Zodiac Academy and read Zodiac Academy 5, I think is what I'm reading next. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice having the Kindle and just being able to just carry this around instead of having to drag a ton of books with me. It's also been nice because I was able to read in the hot tub today. Like I haven't been afraid of water getting on it, like if it's raining. So even though I was a Kindle hater for the longest time, just because I didn't think I would like reading on something like this, I have been fully convinced and absolutely love this. I was gonna use this trip as my trial run and like it's no longer a trial. I'm not getting rid of her, but now I'm just gotta grab some stickers to Decorate the back. I think I'm gonna go with a little floral theme because I saw someone's TikTok on this that also had the green background and it looks so cute. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next. Guys, it's our last morning here and I'm so sad. I'm gonna miss this place so much. I miss it every single year. Missed it last year. Gonna miss it again this year. Hopefully we'll get invited back for next year. I'm so sad. We just got breakfast and then we're gonna go back up to the room and pack and then we're out of here. Alright, what was your favorite part of the trip? My favorite part? Oh, he's just laying on the pool, getting a nice tan going. That was the favorite part. He's so funny. Before we came here, he was asking every day to go tan. I don't know what my favorite part was. Honestly, as much as I was scared of riding the horses, the fact that we were like got all the way up to the hand in the rain. After all that complaining. It was fun. The rain made it fun. Uh -huh. You're going full speed gallop is fuck for me. Mm, no, that scared me too much. There's also <laughs> oh, a pregnant cat here, by the way. Just letting you know. That's a highlight of the trip. Stop it. Look at this. Look at it. It is so chunky because it's pregnant. But yeah, it's been fun. I will say, though, I am very much ready to go home. 
as an introvert, my social battery has officially reached negative zero. So I'm ready, but I will miss this place. And I will complain that I'm no longer on vacation once I'm home. I have to have one last coffee too, because this is apparently the only coffee in the world that does not give me a headache. And I will go back to eat, to drinking my matcha once we're back in Orlando, but for now, a little cafe con leche is all I need. Say goodbye to this beautiful view. So sad. We have sadly made it to the airport, so our trip is officially over. We did get one last pan de bono to end the trip, but after this, we are back home to the US. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've stayed this far, please like, subscribe, comment, do all the things, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.